Hi everyone, my name is Abdul Rahman Stehi, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher and Google Certified Educator. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Zoom to hold online classes and meetings. Zoom is a video conferencing service that lets you hold meetings with dozens of people from the comfort of your own home. I'm going to show you how you can set up your classroom in Zoom, how you can invite participants or students to that classroom, and some small tips to make the meeting go smoothly. Quick note, on my channel there's a bunch of teaching and Google Classroom tutorials, particularly with a focus on how to do teaching digitally, so if that appeals to your interests, consider subscribing. Now, let's get on with the tutorial. This is Zoom for teachers right now. Begin by going to zoom.us. On the top right, click sign up, it's free, to sign in with whatever kind of account you wish. You'll notice that Zoom has some lessened restrictions due to the coronavirus issue, but on the left side, you want to make sure you're on Meetings. Click Schedule a New Meeting. This will take you to a new page where you can specify your class topic and description. Add the details for when you want your classroom to take place. and decide the duration of your class. If you feel like you're going to meet at the same time repeatedly, go ahead and call it a recurring meeting. Require a meeting password so no one other than your students can get in. Video, turn on for both the host and your participants so that you can see your students and they can see you. For the audio, keep both so that students and teachers can enter via telephone and computer. Don't enable people to join before the host, I don't prefer it. Mute participants upon entry so there is less noise when people enter. Enable a waiting room if they show up before you. And record the meeting automatically for your own records. Click Save. At that point, you will go to a new page where it will give you the meeting URL to join and the password which you can share on your calendars. But go ahead and start the meeting right now with the top right. At that point, it's going to ask you to open Zoom. The first time you start it, it's going to ask you to download, but in my case, the app was already downloaded so it automatically started. It asks me to join with computer audio, which I do. And now, as you can see, I am using my computer audio. So on the bottom left, you can see my microphone and my video source. There are quite a few buttons at the bottom, but the one I'm most interested in is Invite. When I click on Invite, it allows me to share that invite code via email, the one I saw earlier. I copied that code and now I'm going to share it with my students however I wish. I prefer to share it via Google Classroom. Notice how the meeting information gives them everything including how to join via phone because we allowed it. Now, back on the student's end, the student would check their classroom, mail, whatever they wish for your link. And when they click, they're going to go through a similar step, where it's going to ask them to run Zoom. Tell them to open the Zoom app. After a few minutes of loading, the app will open and it will ask them to join with video. Tell them to join. At that point, it will say that the meeting host now has to let you in. This takes me back to the teacher end, where I now see that my student is asking to enter. I will click Admit to let my student enter. Now I can see both myself and my student, unfortunately me, 
in both cases, but I now have quite a few options once a student has entered. If you notice, at the bottom of the screen, I have all the tools that I need. Invite allows me to invite more students and manage participants lets me see everyone on the top right. I can also chat with everyone on the bottom right. I can also pause and stop the recording, give students reactions if I don't want to speak while they're speaking, but want to acknowledge their success. And with the chat button, I can send individualized messages to the whole class or to specific individuals. Now, on the top right with the Manage Participants, the best feature is that I can mute my participants. So I can ask people to not just leave the meeting, but I can let them stay and still mute them and take away the ability to unmute themselves. That is very necessary for larger groups. And when I need to speak, I just hit mute all. And when I'm done, I hit end meeting at the bottom right. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned how you can create your own class with Zoom. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if videos like this appeal to your interests, consider subscribing. This is Paxani Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.